Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Havermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Let me ask you a question. Wouldn't it be amazing if fruits and vegetables could actually talk to us and say, hey, I'm really good for your eyes, or I'm really good for your stomach, or I'm really good for your heart, or I'm really good for your brain, you need to eat me. That would make life a whole lot easier. Well, guess what? Fruits and vegetables do talk to us, and they do tell us what organ is important for us to eat them, and it will help to strengthen the organ. It's called the Doctrine of Signatures in Herbal Medicine, and it's been around since the Middle Ages. And the beauty of this is that it hasn't changed. It, sh it still shows a huge impact in what we eat and what organ it affects. Now, the Doctrine of Signatures in Herbal Medicine basically said that God put his imprint on certain fruits and vegetables to help us to understand which part of the body and which organ of the body that it will help and strengthen, and in some cases may even perhaps heal. So let me go through some of these because I think this is such a fascinating thing. I want you to think about what's good for your eyes. I want you to think about and you can look in the mirror and look at your eyeball and see what it looks like. Now take a carrot and you slice it horizontally and you look at that. When you look at that carrot and you compare it to your eye, there's a lot of similarities. What's interesting is carrots are loaded with vitamin A. Vitamin A is, a, is referred to as a retinol vitamin. Um, and because its highest concentration is in the retina of your eye. So your eyes, if you want to improve your eyes, yes, you need to eat carrots. And it's the plant-soluble sol form of vitamin A, so it converts into the fat-soluble form in your body, which is the form that your body needs to use. So we know scientifically that carrots are really good for your eyes. All right, let's take another one, the heart. Okay, the tomato. If you look at a tomato, and again, if you cut it horizontally, it has four chambers or four sections. And that's just exactly like your heart. Your heart has four sections. A tomato is also red. Your heart is red. And a tomato has a very, very powerful phytochemical called lycopene. Lycopene actually goes in and it can repair and help and strengthen your heart. All right, let's talk about a walnut. I want you to look on the outside of the walnut. It's all crinkly and the brownish color. You open the walnut up and there's two sections to the walnut and you have that thin little membrane coming down the center. Walnuts are very high in omega-3s. Omega-3s are an essential fatty acid. And if you remember, I told you, essential means that your body doesn't make them. You have to eat them through foods to, in order to get them. Well, walnuts are filled with these omega-3s, this special fatty acid that helps to build and strengthen your brain. If you look at that walnut, it looks like a brain. It's all crinkly and it's brownish and it, you know, it's like the brain. And when you open it up, it has two sides, it just exactly like the brain. And that thin little membrane that you see down, coming down the middle, that represents the corpus callosum. So it's like a little miniature brain. Let's talk about celery for a minute. Celery, if you look at how it comes out, is bones. Your bones are 28% silicone, and celery is 28% silicone. You want to strengthen your bones, you need to eat more celery. Of course, they tell you to eat vitamin, uh, take vitamin D too, and that's important, but celery also will help to strengthen your bones. Let's think about onions for a minute. I love this one. If you cut an onion horizontally, you see layers and layers, and sometimes you can just peel off those different layers. All right, well, this represents the skin. Your skin has layers upon layers upon layers, and guess what? Onions are filled with sulfur, okay? The dominant element of your skin is sulfur. Sulfur is a mineral. People have said to me, oh, I'm allergic to sulfur. No, you may be allergic to sulfa, that's a drug, but sulfur is a mineral that we find in a lot of different things, but it's in high levels and high concentration in the onion. So you want better skin? Well, you need to feed your skin from the inside out, so add those onions. You don't like raw onions? Fine. You can cook them up and you can, uh, you can eat them grilled or however you like, but the important thing is to eat them for healthier skin. Okay, we're gonna end with this one, and this is the... Uh, this is sweet potatoes. If you look at a sweet potato, it has a really interesting kind of a shape. Well, it has the exact kind of a shape of the pancreas. They know the sweet potatoes actually help the pancreas. They actually strengthen the pancreas. If you're diabetic, 
you should be eating like a you should eat a sweet potato two or three or four sweet potatoes a week and you're thinking well they're too high in sugar they're not the high in sugar that's going to actually increase your glucose levels in your bloodstream but they actually will go in and they will help to heal the pancreas if you have any issues with it. So those just give you a few. If you go on my blog, you can read more about all different kinds of fruits and vegetables and how they help and strengthen all of these different organs. It's just a fun thing and you can share this with your kids. They'll have a lot of fun learning this as well. And so when the next time you go to eat that piece of celery or go to eat that tomato or that walnut, you will think about which part of the organ of your body that it's helping. All right, let me leave you with this quote. <clears throat> this is by uh, Marion Nestle. The key dietary messages are stunningly simple. Eat less, move more, eat more vegetables and fruits, and don't eat too much junk food. It's no more complicated than that. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.